hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to know if your content violates facebook community standard how to know if your content violates facebook community standard now what you're going to do is you click on your facebook app just click on the facebook app once it opens the next thing you do is click on this your profile here you can see it up there you click on it then once it opens the next thing you do is you scroll up scroll up scroll up and then you click on help and support this is help and support here click on it then you click on support inbox this is support inbox here once it opens this way then you click on your alerts when you click on your alerts this way you will see all your content that has issues with facebook the ones the report for having a, a copyrighted sound a copyrighted song a copyrighted music a copyrighted video intellectual property um all kinds of um violations any of your content that violates facebook community standard this is where you see all of them you can see i have one video here this is my page i have one video here and this video they complained about the sound they say the the music in the video was a copyrighted music so i agree to their decision they said i'll be sharing revenue with the owner of the music i agree to their decision if i like i can go and delete this video i can go and delete the video so but if you have 10 of your contents that are against facebook's community standard all of them are going to be lined up here and from here you can delete it or when you know the date you posted that that video like this one i posted it on october 17th 2024 so i can simply go to my wall and search for this content on october 17 2024 and delete it once you delete any of the co uh, content you if you come back to this place you won't see it again it will disappear from here so that issue is solved many people don't know about this so what i tell people my students and people i help manage their facebook is once you post a video after 10 minutes after 10 minutes you come back to the support inbox and then check if there's any complaint about that video here some will not even reach 10 minutes it will appear here already some will pass maybe the video that someone reported you know someone reported the video and let me show you where you can find the content uh, or the complaints or reports that others you see reports about others if you made any reports about others this is where you see it to report about others uh -huh. so this is where you see all the content on your page that doesn't follow facebook community guideline and then all these ones you see here all these ones you see here you see all these ones all these things you see here are the changes i made to my page you can see this one was march 21st 2023 your request to change your page name has been approved so i made the request if i didn't make that request if i click any of these things here now it will take me to where i will appear to them they will have to put the page on hold then the request for some verifications and then you can now change your password maybe someone hacked into your account and decided and tried to change the name of your page so you can see all these ones are name changes so i changed my the name i changed and changed and changed till i got to the name that you know today as onye culture yes so this is how to know if your content and when your content goes against facebook's community standard guidelines so please do what to do this all the time at all times so that your page will be free of violations so that when you're due for monetization you won't have anything that will hinder you from getting this money that people are getting from meta i wish you all success in your content journey and um, see you at the top thank you please share this video and, and uh, click subscribe click on that subscription button 
and make sure you drop your comments on the comment section if you have any questions or any confusion and most especially share this video so that others will learn this and then they will avoid um, violations thank you and see you in the next video